to do a shadow and shade lesson today. So we've got lovely uh, sunny weather for the time being. I'm not sure how long it'll last. So let's get crack. So we have a cube here. It's a 3D shape. Okay. It's not like the page here, which is just flat. It's 2D. So if I put the 3D shape down, it's going to cast a shadow. You can see the shadow here. See it? Oh. Our sun is going in behind the cloud. So I could trace this shadow if I wanted to. Okay, and you could trace it home if you had a bit of good sunlight or if you have a, a lamp. The lamp is obviously easier because it's not going to go away and you have the clouds coming out. So you have your 3D shape, which is made up of square faces. And then you have your a shadow that's cast so the Sun is over here and that means the shadow is over here okay it's always on the opposite side so I'll leave that up here and I'm gonna just draw my own version of it so here's like one of the front faces and then I go back up and the other it's almost like a V there and another V connect them and then you just kind of do an upside down B. And there you have a cube. Okay. Now, if the light, which it is over here, it's the, if the light's coming from here, the right light, then the shadow will be on this side, okay? So I'm going to point it actually this way. Just to give it a bit of difference. So I have to follow that line. This way, follow that line. This way, and this way. So this one will be the furthest away. So it'll be that kind of a shape, see? That sort of shape there. Okay. And you just Again, if this was a blue, if this was blue, this would be dark blue. Okay, it's just, if this was red, this would be dark red, and so on. And you can go for this being the darker side. If the light is on this side, this face is going to be very dark. And then this face might have a little bit of light on it, but it's going to be pretty dark as well. So I'll kind of just do half of that. Let's see how it looks there. This dark here. And this is dark. But if I was to bring it around here, you can see that that's bright. So dark because it's not on the same side as the light's coming from. So you can do your shadow and shade around that. So there's your shadow being cast. Have it there. Okay, so let's try a ball. So this is a good ball to show you a new idea. So it's a highlight. A highlight is like a bright patch. You can see a really shiny bright patch there, can you? So that's where the the light is at its brightest on the ball and then on the opposite side the light wouldn't be there so that's the darkest okay the brightest and the darkest and if I was to trace that I could trace the big shadow that's cast by it see that let's get my finger in there as I move my finger see there so that's the ca shadow that's cast from the ball okay so it's a, a sphere a ball is called a sphere shape and then the cast it casts a longer Kind of circular shape. So if I draw a ball here, it's really just a circle. And then the cast shadows starts kind of like down here, not from around here, and not from the very bottom. So it comes kind of like here. That's your shadow that you're getting cast. See there? All that. Is the shadow and then this bit is the shade oh look there's a, a nice line there see the line there oh let's move it around a bit so 
here's the highlight, the brightest patch. Then there's a line going across it. So it's kind of going across here. I'm just going to put the, the highlight there. So all underneath here, it's tricky to draw now. I'm going to put my finger in because you want to follow the shape of the, the ball to make it look 3D. So this is all dark. This is really dark at the bottom. And as it comes up, it's getting lighter and lighter until eventually the light is, you can see the light on it. So down here is the darkest. And again, the same for the shadow. This will be the darkest bit of the shadow. And it gets lighter as it goes towards the edges and the top. cylinder. You can see again the cast, the shadow that he casts there. It's kind of got straight sides. This one has cur is curvy all the way. This one's always straight and angles. But this one here has straight and curvy. Just like it has on its on the real shape. Straight edge, straight lines and curvy lines. See those curvy? And then those are straight. So you see the same in the shadow. So if I was to draw that, there's the kind of oval, so if you turn it there, see, look, perfect circle there, but as you turn it, see the way the shape changes? It's now kind of more of an oval, that's what I've drawn here. And the straight lines on the sides, I'm going to draw mine a little bit taller, okay, and then you just Finish the same idea here. If it was see through, you'd be able to see the other side. This one isn't see through. Okay. Now, if we were to show you here, you, you can see that there's a line, bright side, dark side. You can even probably see it clearly up the top here. Bright side, dark side. So, what kind of show? That. Let's pretend this one's over here a bit more. The light's over here, so I'm going to have a look at it. Darkest side. And then I'm going to get lighter. Okay. And if the top, if the top is bright, it's always bright. It's all going to be bright. And the the shadow is going to follow that line this way this time. And we can remember it had a curly top, straight sides. And the darkest patch close to here will be the dark, or the closest to the cylinder will be the darkest shadow. And then it works its way lighter from there. Shadows and shades.